I want a 3x3 that's not only small, but also very cool, so I just built my own. So this is a spiral 3x3 I made, it is 9x9, and it's also 2 blocks wide, so it is 2 blocks wide, 9 long, and 9 blocks tall. I'm going to show you guys how you can also make this door in Minecraft. Now before we get into that, I will have to say that this door isn't perfect, it is a tick off, as you can see. So if I just go like this and then slow down the tick speed, you can see that once it gets there, it is one tick off from that, this weight, and then it goes. So it's just a tick off, but you can't really tell if you actually go to normal speed. Because normal speed, it doesn't really look that bad. It looks very cool. Now another thing I will have to say is that this is a Java only door because it uses a lot of piston budding. So bedrock players, sorry, you can't build this door. But with that out of the way, let's actually build the door. Now these are all the blocks you're going to need to build the door. And it's not actually that many blocks, but it is still all the blocks you need. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the door layout. So you're going to go three blocks in and then two blocks up which is the first block you're going to place. Then you're going to go around that, break that block, and then just start making a 3x3 free free area around that. So as you can see, that's the first place. And you just want to extend that by one. Now the next step is adding in all the pistons. So we just put in two down here, one over here, two like this, a regular piston, just like that. Three pistons on the top facing down and then two more pistons over here. The next step we're gonna do is make the hipster on the bottom. You're going to place an observer, place a lever on that observer, fix this block here. Then you're going to go observer, note block, observer going down off of that, observer trail going off of that, and then piston at the end. Then you're gonna put a observer on top of that piston going like that, so that's the back, this is the front. Then you're gonna put a note block right behind that, then a block on top of that, and then a observer going off of that note block. After you've done that, now we're gonna go block, block, and block, and then redstone all along that, and also redstone on the note block. Then we're gonna place a note block under this block right across of the piston, so note block, and then we're gonna put an observer going off of that. Next up is a redstone lamp like this, just going across, over, note block, and then observer onto that. And there you go, that is the hip store on the bottom, all done. And now we're gonna move on to the rest. What you're gonna do is place a observer, redstone line, and then you're gonna place a note block on top of that, and then the observer going off that, and another block. And you're gonna place light blue stained glass or whatever building block you want. I'm just using light blue colors here. And then you're gonna go block, 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 block in the air, block, and then another block in the air. And you're going to run redstone dust like this, go redstone repeater, play hopper right here, then go with another redstone repeater, and then a redstone dust like that. Now we're going to place a block right under here, and then a observer going next to that block, and then redstone line on top of that. Then we're going to place a block and put a hopper over this piston, and then place a block like this, redstone line, a observer, or redstone line, and I block under that. And here's the door, it's already done. It's very simple because it's very small. I intended it to be small and I made it small. Well, let's say you wanted to add an input on the wall instead of on the bottom. So what you do is just get rid of the lever there, add another layer of blocks, then you place a observer like this, light blue wall going down like this, light blue wall on that, you just replace it and replace it to make it fire again. Then you place another light blue wall here, then note block here. Now that will fire the door, but all you gotta do is just double click on that note block and it will fix it. Now for the redstone dust, we just put redstone dust there, there, and then the repeater right there. And there you go. That is the door, but the input on is on the side. Now let's say you wanna do a button instead of a lever. So what you do is just take out the top stuff here, but leave this bottom stuff. Now put in your building block, then redstone dust on top of that, a sticky piston, make sure it's like that. Block on here, a observer off that, going with a redstone repeater, then a block under that observer, and then two blocks here, 
and two redstone line like this. And there you go. That is durable, but it works sort of way better now. That was the whole video, and I hope you enjoyed that. I just want to make a little video showcasing this drawer and how to build it. So if you like this, then consider subscribing and hit the like button if you haven't already. And YouTube thinks you might like this video, so go see if they're right and click that video.